and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is Survival Excess, as I've decided to name the series, as uh, I don't know, just seems fitting. Uh, as you can see, we've got rain, thanks to the recent patch. Well, I mean, it's a couple of weeks old now, I guess, but uh, this is the first episode I've recorded since the, uh, the patch actually <laughs> went live. So, uh, we've got, we have weather now. And uh, I will say that uh, the weather's awesome, and uh, I like all of it, except for the fact that lightning does damage, so I sort of took the, uh, the lame way out. I'll own it. I have a mod that gets rid of the, the lightning damage, because I don't want to have to replace decoys or antennas all the time, you know, if you use them as a ground rod. I don't know. I, I whipped out. I'll own it. So, uh, yeah. We have uh, fog. I haven't seen the fog before. This is pretty sweet. Um, so that was actually convenient that it turned from rain to fog. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, some other small changes. We have uh, some paint in here to break up the monotony of nothing but gray. And I added this blue stripe. Um, a new lab over here, new desk over here. This thing's still, um, let's not talk about that. So this is the upstairs, a little bit has changed. In the last episode, I had, um, I can't see what the ground is. I, uh, had basically laid out some of this stuff here. I believe this wasn't welded yet and I welded this off camera and uh, I don't think I had all of that done. It is done now as you can see. So here's my part storage. If you open it up you've got parts and randomly some iron that I believe I moved down here when I finished the floor which is now done. Uh, if you remember from episode 7 maybe? Possibly 8. I had kind of like from the wall to about here, um, all the way welded up. I'd use the welding ship to do so. And uh, it was, it took about 7,000 and I kind of estimated that the rest of it, just kind of taking that long strip and multiplying it by like the remaining three, um, it did take about uh, 20,000 more steel plate to finish all of these armor blocks. But they're done now. We have lights now. This is an improvement. I, yeah, I don't have my light on. Right now I've got the weird dawn skybox thing happening. It'll pass in a little bit and the walls will be dark again. I don't know why it does that. If you know why um, space is dark, seems to cause this crazy skybox thing to like penetrate anything, rock, stone, people, I don't know. It does this, it's weird. Um, the fog is so cool. Uh, but yeah, so I've got lights now. So you don't have to actually run around with your flashlight on all the time. And the coolest thing that I did as well um, is I put an ore detector under here because I wanted to see what else might be underneath the iron vein that we've been mining for quite a long time now. And if we turn it back on, uh, or detector, if we turn you back on, nothing happens. All right, it's on, the lights are green. I guess we probably need to turn signals back on. And then I guess wait for it to decide to show me stuff because it's showing me that ice a kilometer there we go, there's everything. So I found out that there is uranium underneath us, which is very helpful, and gold. Um, but I'm more stoked about the uranium because I need to get a power plant down here so I can separate the upper base from this lower base. Um, and a reactor seems like a great way of doing that. So what I did was I built um, a very large drill. Uh, if we fall down this hole, 
Actually, I don't have invulnerability on, so maybe we should jetpack down so we don't die when we smash into the side of a piston. If we come all the way down here... You'll see this enormous line of 30 pistons, which will um, extend to 300 meters. That uh, uranium ore is a kilometer down. So I'll have to rebuild the drill head after adding more pistons on when this is done. It'll, I'll let this go all the way and then I will uh, retract it all. I mean, you know the drill, I've done this before. You stack a bunch of pistons up, you build the drill head. I won't bore you with that anymore. You, you just, you don't need more episodes on drill heads. Um, but yeah, so that's going. Uh, this little room thing I've started to flesh out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or what it's gonna become. I was thinking it might be like a med bay here and maybe another med bay and then some cryopods. But then I realized that I don't have any friends and I play this game alone. Um, so yeah, I don't know what this will be. But uh, this is my recharge chair so I don't have to go back upstairs. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. So the first thing I would like to do in this episode is turn this ore detector back off so I don't have 8 million... 8 million little uh, uh, ore detector things in the way. Excellent. So, oh, one other little thing I did was I, uh, I stuck another storage container back here and uh, got some floor back here. That's just because we're gonna be going so deep that uh, I want to make sure that I have plenty of storage. Actually, speaking of storage, what, uh, oops, wrong button. Are we still mining iron or have we been getting stone or anything else? I guess we're still getting iron. And the storage ore is still getting a bunch of iron. Nice. All right, so we've got that. Now, what I would like to do is, I think I want to start working on getting up here closed off. So I want to be able to, I want to be able to close this off and I'm gonna use hangar doors for that because at the moment, this isn't going to be a very useful boom arm, but when I have the base connected with a conveyor tube, um, I'll be able to actually use this arm and this conveyor system that's currently here to drop ore down in the um, in that ore storage container. So what I've kind of devised here is this just brings down, um, you know, that blocks location vertically or I guess horizontally. Um, kind of in like this, this plane right here. And I'm gonna have the hangar doors coming out this way and they'll go from right to left and from left to right. That way they can open up and the uh, pistons can come through when I need to use it. When I don't need to use it, they can just remain shut, which will be quite nice. The only problem is, is that this original hole was uh, three by three, which is an odd number. And those hangar doors are th uh, one by three. And so they're like six long, which means that I'll have to have my seam like right here on the side of this block. I can't have my seam in the middle of the block, which I mean, isn't a big deal. It's just kind of annoying. So. What I don't know though is which direction I want them to go. So I can either have this one right here. That would be, let's see if I can get it to show. I can't remember if these build, no, they build all the way retracted. I don't know if I want them to be the long way on this side or the long way on the other side. I'm not sure it really matters. 
you know, because this way they'll still have this block of space between the side of the piston and the hangar door. So that will be good. I think we'll just do it this way. That'll be okay. We'll have full hangar door right here. What do you mean I need armor plate? I thought I had armor plate. Did I seriously put it all into this? Come on, how many do you have? Oh, yeah, I totally did, 250. Let's see if I have some armor plate up here. I don't know if I do or not. Or steel plate. I keep calling it armor plate. Of course not. Oh, wait, medium cargo has a bunch, though. I can take it out of that. That was our welding ship. I just robbed the welding ship. And that's the downstairs. Storage. Ah, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't have any up here. But that is fine because right now we're just laying these out. All right, so we want that one there and that one there. And then that will come out to here. So then that one needs to go there, there, and one more block back. So we need to get rid of some of these. This guy. All right, and armor block. Put you right there. And let's see, that will be one. Oh, cool. So that red line is the end of it. So one, two, three. So that's actually where it's going to be butted up against. Let's weld this guy up. And I need to take out a little bit more. So I can put the, the block that it's actually going to rest against. In. And that should be, whoops, right there, 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 and you're going to go like that, and now I've got nine here. Those hangar doors and these hangar doors they're gonna meet right there and it's not equally uh, you know it's not right in the middle but that's gonna be fine Get rid of this overhang because it looks funny Not sure that's much better, but we should at least be able to build it away with some blocks. There we go. Come on. It's so weird, like the hitbox to well is so weird sometimes. So we'll weld these up here. And then we'll check in here that that all makes sense. Let's clear that up some. Just looked kind of hokey. There we go. 
can give us a little taper. Again, doesn't really matter because the rest of the tunnel isn't that wide. But uh, I don't know, I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. And weld you up. And weld you up. And you. Is there anything under here? Yep, this guy right here. Alright, so that should be good. So we can get rid of these. So they were only used again for that positioning. I haven't decided if I want to do maybe like a block wall angle here. I might, I don't know yet. Same kind of for over here. Let's uh, let's get rid of this. Oh, hey, look at that. And knock those off. All right. Cool. Give that a save. All right, so now I need to get all of the components for six of these. Which is, I think, probably quite a lot of stuff. What's in my build planner? So let's do... One, two, three... Four, five, six. And we'll come down here. And we'll see what all we can get. Apparently not enough things. But we got some things. Looks like we got everything but the steel plate. Which is fine, we can get steel plate from down here. We can get uh, all of the steel plate from down here. We'll probably have to come down here a couple times. Yep. So I guess one more time. Finish you up. There we go. Now we have a sliding door and we will come down in here, pop in here which will recharge us and we're also going to assign a uh, toggle thing. It's the technical phrase for the hotkey. What are those called? Hanger doors? Airtight hanger doors. Airtight hanger door. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why it counts like this. Why are you like this? So this is going to be... Uh, we'll call these upper hanger doors. In case there ever become lower hanger doors. And now that I've got the group, I can come to the G menu. Uh, where are you? Upper hanger doors. This should be the toggle. And this should close them. And there they go.
Excellent, and they didn't explode. Wait, did that? No. My, my bottle must have charged the hydrogen up because you can't charge from the seat, weird. All right, so let's come down here and take a look at this. Nice, this is exactly what I was going for. So now the giant shaft has been uh, effectively sealed. That's good. I might uh, I might make this this border look a little nicer, um, but for now I think I'm going to just leave it angular. I mean, it's not like this whole base looks that fantastic. I mean, what is this window? There's a reason that I'm not an architect. Yeah. So, anyway, architectural fails set aside for a moment. We'll come back down in here. And I'd like to check on these pistons. It looks like maybe they're, I don't know, a third of the way down. Yeah, almost. They're three meters down. Nice. So they're three meters down. There are 30 pistons. So, 90 meters, 90 extra meters, which if you remember the original 10 that uh, made the iron mine how it is now, that was uh, only 10. So it's just about gone another 100 meters past where it was before, which is pretty exciting. All right, so now, I need to start making a bunch of uh, components for small tubes and just the conveyor conveyor parts because I'd like to start working on something that I definitely didn't test on stream um, about a week and a half ago, which was uh, changing this this tower that if you remember from the probably the first episode, I think this tower was originally the the power supply from that underground cavern, which is kind of somewhere, I think it's like somewhere over that way and maybe down a little bit. Yeah, it's that way and about 30 feet down. Um, well, actually no, more like 10 meters down. I think it's four blocks down, which would be 10 meters. So, I'm going to change this to a conveyor system, but I don't really want to do that until I have some power generation down here. And I could do that with temporary solar or temporary wind turbines. Um, or if I can get to that uranium in a timely manner, I'll throw a reactor up if I can build it. I don't know if you need platinum to build a reactor. Actually, we should find out. That's what we'll do now. So reactor. Can I even build a react? I can. So I have large reactors and I have small reactors. So a small reactor, oh wait, what is this? Oh, hydrogen engine, just looked weird. So the small reactor requires reactor components, what a shock. And all right, the large reactor require, oh my God, 2000. It needs superconductors. And I think the superconductors need either gold or platinum. I think those need platinum. So we'll check the assembler next. All right, let's see here. So if we come here to production, gravity components, ah, uh, here we go, reactor components are, oh wow, okay. So reactor components are silver, gravel, gravel. Well, it's a good thing I have a ton of gravel somewhere. I haven't ejected it yet. I was going to, glad I didn't. Um, And then I also need, Ah, here we go, superconductor. 
Okay, so superconductor is iron and gold. Reactor components will be silver, gravel, and iron. Thruster components. So really, I need to find... I need to find silver somewhere. I can turn my... I can turn my ore detector back on, but first, I'd like to go investigate something I haven't used in a while, which is our rover from episode three, I think? Maybe episode four. But I think it was, it was three or four. I don't think it was five. But if we come over here, right where we left it, ah, the weird beetle looking rover thing. So we can bring this little guy over to our base, decide if we need to re-outfit it, and how we might do that. And we'll drive it on up here. Oh, 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 we're crashing. We're, we're gonna crash. Fantastic. All right, so there's like very little friction in these wheels apparently. That's, that's cool. Glad I steered it that way and crashed into this. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, I guess we're gonna throw some scrap metal and for the refinery. Oh, stone. Oh, lots of stone. We are apparently through the, uh... Ooh, I'm also very glad that I made a whole nother storage container. Let's actually pop down this hole real quick. I'm curious... where we punched through. Ah, right here. This is a ton of iron. All right, so I accidentally killed this thing. So let's, uh, I don't really need, I don't need these anymore. At least I don't need, you know, two of them. I'll have one, I think, on top still. Let's see here. Get rid of that guy. And let's do a solar panel on top. I put two on, I think, if I remember right, I put the two on so it charged faster, as that was the only way I could actually charge this thing. Oh, are you seriously, are you gonna be like that, really? Is this really how, is this really gonna? All right, so let's put this back there. That back there. Try it again. All right, so apparently the solar panel is four blocks wide. Why would they not make it like five? Or is it five? Is it five? Oh, it is five. All right, so it's not completely obscene. All right, so this way, it'll still be able to charge on its own. And by building these little guys, I can put the headlights up here. 
which will help. So we'll do a light right there. Actually, we should do it uh, one block out. We should put it on the side. Because if I do it like this, it'll get even better. So I need some random stuff that I don't have. And let's go here. I don't need the glass. It'll work without it. And, oh, interesting. Our truck goes through the suspension. I wonder if it actually works or not. Hmm. It seems to be. So I've got two cargo containers. So I've got plenty of storage. All right. All right, so let's see if we can find... What do we want to find first with this guy? We're going to need ice, but we need actually we need an O2 generator down here as well. So perhaps perhaps we should put that in here in this pipey nightmare. Let's see if we can get ice. Let's take this thing to see if we can get ice. I'm guessing we might need to resort to using a um, no, I didn't want that. We might have to resort to using a... Let's go friction like 30. We may resort to using a flying... Uh, ship of some kind. To get the ice. But uh, we'll see if this guy can go do it. I cannot see any... Oh, I have plenty of room. All right, I need less power and more friction. All right, so my suspension does move. That's good. Let's do 35. All right, I mean, that's... I don't know, kind of more reasonable. The rover definitely looks more reasonable. So what I'd like to do is ore detector, bring its range down, maybe like 300. And turn it on. Turn our lights on. See now we're gonna have to go up that mountain. Let's actually increase our wheel friction to maybe 60%. And Let's see. Is there a good route up there to some of that snow? I don't see one. Alright, so we're gonna come up this way. And then maybe head to the left to try to get up on top of this mountain ridge. I'm trying to stay on the smooth ground. Uh, although I might try to drive up this. I want to I'll turn the speed down for sure if I try this though. Give it like 20. 
But definitely don't need to be sailing over one crag into another. Let's see, maybe up this. We can come up this and come off right here. Get a wheel up on that. And drive over here. So I can come over here. Get my wheels over that. Nice. Oh, big crag. Uh, let's try it. Oh, we're good. All right, so nickel. The snow is over there. Oh, hey, ice. Nice. Let's save now that we're this far. Almost there. So is there a snow patch this low? What is this? Oh, it's a boulder. It's an ice boulder. Okay. I'll take it. It's still ice. Just come over here and park next to it. and start drilling like a peasant. All right, we're gonna call that basically mined out. It's not all the way gone, but I mean, there's enough of it gone. Ooh, we just almost filled up our medium cargo. Might as well throw that stone in there, it's fine. And we're gonna save. And let's see how sagging our suspension is. It's, uh, it's a little saggy. Let's come over here. Let's go strength. Let's crank that back up. All right. Take our parking brake off. And head back home. What I don't know is what is the best way to get back home? I'm not feeling this direction. All right, so kind of like right here. Let's see if we can get over there. So that direction is kind of that way. Come over here. think this shoot. If uh, my parking brake would park, that'd be great. 
All right, yeah, so this chute, I believe, is how I came up. So we're going to attempt to come down it. down into this valley here, maybe? Let's see, what's over here? That's pretty rough. And this is pretty rough, too. I come over here? Mm, that's all pretty rough as well. I'm not really sure how I got up here. Oh, maybe I drove up this thing. Let's try that. Try to keep a wheel on the edge. Ooh, going faster than I want. The brakes are held. All right. I think we're almost home. Definitely want a quick save. Oh, nope, wrong way. We want to go over here. I think at this point it's just a matter of driving back to the entrance. I think is over here. Yeah, we can probably speed it back up now. Come on, 60. All right, we'll just type it. All right, I see the lights. here, slow down, Alright, and with uh, the successful return of the rover carrying a bunch of ice, we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll start building the, uh, the, o the H2O2 generator down here, and we will check on, um, I guess, the drill. We can do that now. Check on the drill now to see where it is. Uh, drill is... 
Ooh, almost halfway. Almost halfway down. Uh, I wonder what is in the... What's in storage ore? Still just a ton of stone. What's in the second storage ore? Second sto- Ah, oh, there we go. About half a million stone. Oh my god, that's so much stone. I don't even need a nickel and silicon mine yet because I have so much stone. I'm gonna have gravel coming out my ears. So we'll also need to get a, a second storage container for ingots going quite quickly. Uh, we might do that as possibly first next episode and then do the O2H2 generator down here. Um, but for now, we're going to call this an episode. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And feel free to leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.